online multiplayer games would become a pretty big deal. Deathmatch and online gameplay changed everything. Oh, what? Ah! Players could connect over a network and interact. Look at the death. <laughs> immersing themselves in a new world. Boom. But with each other. For the first time, you can play in a high-speed 3D world where you're blowing your friends apart. God damn it. <laughs> it's really fun to play against each other in Deathmatch. And it influenced everybody in wanting to make games. And then the guys at id handed players the keys to their kingdom. We fully opened the game. Then we gave out the information on the way that levels were created. Doom was opened up to modding. Tech-savvy players could now replace the existing characters, sound effects, textures, you name it, with their own creations. People are starting to make new graphics, new weapons, new sounds for stuff. It was basically everything that you see in the game can be changed. But we didn't allow anyone to modify Doom if they didn't buy it. <laughs> so if you have the shareware version of Doom, you can't run levels or mods or anything. So that was actually kind of a way of forcing people to buy it. But also, players want to be creative. It's a lot easier to modify than to try and make a whole new thing. So letting people mod a game kind of gives them a taste of what it's like to make a game, and now the game you know, fits them better. Doom was put in the hands of players, and they made it their own. The game lives on forever.